no windmill to complete the picture. But here's that popular young entertainer from the Windmill Theatre London in one of her own sketches, Paddy Brown. Last night, my newest boyfriend took me out to dine. And we drowned a lovely lobster in bottles of rich red wine. That resulted in a nightmare. I dreamed of a dress show. And then I saw that the clothes were displayed by Hollywood's famous movie men. There was Clark, the fascinating Gable. In a coat of Russian sable, not a woman there was able to resist him. Chaplin's gown was pleated and plain. His boots peeped out from under his train. He wore his bowler and carried his cane to assist him. Bob Montgomery wore pink net. Eddie Cantor, yellow Georgette, and Wiener and Woolsey flannelette with frills on. Harold Lloyd's skirt had a new line. Bing Crosby's blouse, oh, a cute design. Herbert Marshall, oh my dear. His hat was divine with quills on. Laurel and Hardy had a quarrel. Kiss me, Hardy, please, cried Laurel. I'm sorry I said you look bandy in that dress of pink or gandy. Taffeta dresses sweeping the floor were worn by the brothers Barrymore. Vic McLaglen looked coy and cool in yards and yards of pale blue tulle. He was followed by Charles Lawton, who had almost next to naught on, just a little chiffon short on with a bunch of roses caught on. A dainty line in underwear went dancing by on Fred Astaire. Much admired were Schnozzle Durantes, lace and pale pink satin panties. Ronald Coleman and Joe E. Brown wore nighters, trimmed with green swan's down. Dear little Freddie Bartholomew led eight boy bridesmaids dressed in blue. Then down the aisle, glowing with pride, walked Wallace Beery as the bride. 